Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today we are demonstrating the Roland CR78. This is one of the most weird drum machines I've ever come across in my life. I know the sound very well and I love the sound. It was um, used by a lot of people including Peter Gabriel, Phil Collins, Blondie, uh, Gary Newman. It's really particular, really different and um, I'm going to show you quickly how it works. You have pretty much two lines of business here. One is this rhythm uh, series and one is this other rhythm series which you can combine together. Let me show it. Okay, so let's go for rock. Exactly. So you have a few different components that can come into the rhythm, like this bit. This is the hi-hat. Then you have a tambourine. Then you have a guido, which only works on some rhythms. Additionally, you have this, which is called a balance, but in actual fact, it, it, it pulls out a real harsh sound, which is like, if, if you go too loud, it's gonna become a bit fastidious. Right? So, this is another hi-hat. I'm not sure why they call it balanced, but that's how it works. And then you have this, the tambourine, and that's your basic rhythm. Then you can select another one. You have a variation here. A little bit busier. So as you can see, this, this is operated by a microprocessor. So it, the, uh, my changes only take place the bar after. In the same vibe, you can have uh, drum fills like this one. Uh. And then you have this one. <laughs> so cute. Let me try this one. All right, fair enough. And um, this one. Oh. Now, let me try a few more rhythms. Very similar. Disco. Disco too. That's not bad. Let's try and get a bit faster. Also, you can lock the tempo. <laughs> Check out. <laughs> now the tempo is locked. All right. All right. And then Latin rhythms here. <laughs> That's quite cool. Also, you can have less or more accent. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the variation is on this. This is quite groovy, actually. Also, with this buttons here, I can kill the bass drum. Or the snare drum. But nothing is happening here. Let's see with this one. No. Oh, yeah. So I'm not sure it behaves a little bit strange uh, or unpredictably, but I guess that's the appeal of it as well. Hmm, shuffling.
and drum fill. <laughs> and waltz. Oh, I see. Here you have to speed up a lot. Maybe less accent. So now let's try and mix up. Oh. <laughs> let's try and mix this with rock. I'm loving it. And also, you have this interesting function, which is fade in and fade out. So... Isn't it cute? If you want to see more vintage drum machines, click the links below, subscribe to this channel, because we've got so much more gear synthesizers, compressors, all you want to know about mixing, mastering, and production. Thanks for watching. Dr. Mix.